happens to him if he doesn't recognize his own nature? Well, there were definite indications that he did not recognize it. So it is as if he has fallen into a dreamless sleep. Can he still hear? No, but in three days' time, his consciousness will hear more clearly than ever before. All his senses, all his emotions will be vivid and intense. And although it will seem to him that he has entered some new reality, it is still just the reality of his own mind. Because you didn't recognize your real nature, you have wandered here, and your own mind will now arise before you in unfamiliar ways. Now his body and consciousness have separated. Now the dead person does not know whether he is alive or not. Even so, he can see his family and hear them crying. Utsering Sonam, listen carefully. You are not alone in leaving this world. Everyone dies. Do not indulge any longer in desires and longings for this place. There is no way that you can stay here. Because the dead person was unable to recognize the luminosity of mind itself, his experiences now take shape out of random imagery from his former life. He sees his friends and relatives calling out to him, but they cannot hear his replies. Death has cut him off from them, and sorrow strikes his heart. He sees his family and relatives crying. He can see his bed, but he is no longer the one lying there. Instead, there is a corpse. Sonam, listen to me carefully. Soon you will experience the intense presence of your own emotional states as peaceful and raging light forms. Do not be afraid. They cannot hurt you. You are dead. Do not cling to the past. Go forward. Sering Sonem, go forward. You are dead. Do not cling to the past. Choden teaches that though this world seems stable and solid, nothing here is permanent. But like water, snow, and ice, life is always shifting, changing form. Yeah, 
Please tell us more about the bardo. All existence is one kind of bardo or another. It means living in an atmosphere of uncertainty, moving without a place to rest. So that means we are in a bardo now? Yes, we are now passing through the bardo of existence. Here, we want to make something lasting and secure, but no one has ever accomplished this. Our life is always in the hands of death. But death is a different kind of bardo. Yes, when we die, it is completely out of our control. Our experience is completely naked. What is the best path through this bardo? It is a question of waking up right now. Look at your own mind. Look at it when it is calm and still and when it is running wild. This is what the Buddha did and what he taught. Sering Sonam, listen carefully. You do not know who you are or where you have been. Now you will meet your mind in the form of projections which seem vivid and entirely real. Now you will see penetrating blue light shining all around you. This is the essence of consciousness itself, Buddha Verochana. His wisdom is like a mirror reflecting everything. He is the form of consciousness in its complete purity. This wisdom is inseparable from your own heart. But also, you will see a diffuse white light. Avoid it. If you follow the allure of the soft white light, you will find yourself ensnared in the temporary pleasures of being born as a god, living in lordly ignorance of the passage of time, yet subject to unexpected death. forms of the deities which Sering Sonam will encounter now. They are the wisdom in his very heart and mind. The 42 peaceful deities will emanate from his heart, and then the 58 wrathful ones will emerge from his brain. They will appear one by one, and then all together. <laughs> The peaceful deities are complete, immovable, invincible. If he cannot bear to enter their vast benevolent space, if he cannot let go of self-centeredness and fear, these deities will become terrifying, wrathful ones who drink the blood of his ego clinging and crush all his delusions. If he recognizes them as an expression of his own mind, they are the unsparing face of wakefulness. The wrathful forms emerging from the dying man's own brain appear before him actually and clearly as if they were real in their own right. his own efforts to evade being completely awake. 
He wanders uncertainly in the landscape of his own mind. If he recognizes this as his own projection, liberation is instantaneous. Alone in the night, the old Lama would sing to himself, The light of wisdom, spontaneous play, dances in bright ripples on an empty lake. Eight days after his death, Tsering Sonam's body is cremated. In order that he may no longer cling to his former body, and so that his relatives and loved ones may release him from the bonds of their attachment to him, his body is offered to the fire. <laughs> I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. Tsering Sonam's widow makes this prayer not just for herself and her husband, but for all beings to be released from suffering. It's been eight days since Sering Sonam died, but still he wanders in the bardo. Now he is seeing the wrathful deities, so it is a difficult time for him. Please continue to think of him kindly. Continue to offer prayers for him and encourage him. It will help him find his way. <laughs> Sering Sonam, now pay attention. Do not be afraid or bewildered. The great wrathful ones are now appearing before you. They are the presence of your innate wisdom, the vivid form of your own wakefulness. Recognize them as a reflection of your own mind. Recognition and liberation are simultaneous. All of us feel sparks of anger, flickers of passion, twinges of jealousy, small moments. But from these seeds, we grow to become a jealous person, an angry woman, a passionate man. We say, this is what I am, and we act accordingly. But these are just our masks. We forget that we are wearing them. And we run from the ones which others wear. So really these wrathful deities are just part of us? Yes. That's why I say it's impossible to run away from them. They are the sharpness of your own clarity. They are all in your head. But still, it's hard not to find them frightening. Maybe they can't understand why you're always running away. <laughs> then, all together and all at once, the peaceful and wrathful deities come before the dying man, filling the whole of space. If he does not recognize these as his own projections, then they transform into the terrifying image of the Lord of Death with gnashing fangs and glassy eyes.